eBay and the power of credit cards. Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos. Today we've got a PO Box opening video <laughs> and there's just so, so much stuff here including a big box. So I'll get all this out of the way. I think there's maybe enough for two videos so we'll see what we can do. But first, in all the drill, I'm going to show you the banknotes and coins I got for my adventures this week. Now I got this one, Albert Tower. Isle of Man, 2008, it's just in my change, lovely, lovely find, also, somebody who's like, Darren collects notes, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do, what have you got, this uh, Northern Irish lady, has. Uh, she's going to get me some, hopefully, more Ulster notes, when she's after lockdowns been lifted and after she's been to Northern Ireland and back again, she's gonna bring a whole lot back for me. So that's grand. So I've got myself this uh, Ulster Bank portrait mode. 10 pounds, lovely. Also got old school Adam Smith note. I know it's a quite a high thingy, but I've, I've just realized I don't actually have one of these and they've been kicking about for ages. So I thought, oh, might as well grab one while it's in good condition. Also, Got this Clydesdale City of Architecture and Design, Glasgow 1999. I've got I've shown you one of these before, but I've had two or three, I think. Uh it's traded them for people uh, notes down south as well with folk that collect them. And I've got myself another one, and there's a Northern Bank paper note. There we go, traction engine. And there's that. All the intricacies, look at that. Do like that. There we go. So that's banknotes and coins on my adventures. So, first up, we'll get into this one. Now, I've injured my hand. I had a little bit of a fall, and luckily I didn't break it. I didn't dislocate it, but I've hurt my thumb. So, I'm going to need relying on the scissors this week. So, we'll crack onto this one. If you want to send me a postcard or a letter, don't send me coins. Don't send me anything. Just, uh, nice letter a postcard yeah even though I know people send me stuff it's usually pre-arranged you know like Trev sends me chocolate that I don't get up here or if I've already arranged a trade with someone one of my friends or something then that's different but please just don't send me anything apart from a postcard or a letter so let's see what I've got myself I can't remember what this was if it was eBay or a trade <laughs> I think it's eBay I'm gonna need the scissors so what I'll do I'll speed, I'll do the old radio wipe and we'll catch up and we'll see what's inside. Well, there we go, it says many thanks. It's a lovely salmony orange pinky colour and it's a banknote. This is an eBay jobby. Now, folk will remember I bought a Livingston note uh, a few PO boxes ago. This is the f continuation to that one. I'm going to remove this just now. There we go, I remember this one when I was growing up. Remember a lot more better than the previous one, but I still remember both. There we go, and lovely, lovely. You know what that is? And on this side, birthplace of Livingston in Blantyre. There we go. Fantastic rebuilding. See, when I remember growing up, I know this is in Blantyre, but there was a very similar building not far from where I lived. Uh, I always just reminds me of home slightly. So anyway, let's put this back into Perspex and I'll get that protected in a proper cellophane wrap that I've got somewhere else. Now I'll put that to the side. So on to the next one. And this is my next one. Mystery. It just has my address. It has an England flag on there. And that's all I know. I don't know. I think it might be fan mail or something to that effect. Because I... I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to need the scissors for this one. Ah, there we go. Mystery solved. To Cali. 
Hope you like the merch. Trev. Whoa, let's find out. I think I know what this is. Because I was having a wee scoot of his videos and uh, I saw the, vid the video where I sent him something and then he was showing us something else. Look at that. There we go there. Coins to collect badge set. Lovely. I've joined the badge club. Sad. But I know, I've, I've, this is my first badge, I know. Christopher's been given magnanimity badges. Bungle's been given out badges. I've never had any. Don't know why. Don't know why. <laughs> cough, cough. <laughs> but um, Trev, so kindly, sent me one of these up. Coins to collect. And the way you Trev emoji. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, I've met Trev in real life. He's just, he is more than just a head and a, and a hand. He's got, he's got a body and feet and stuff, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Quite like the pre-presentation thing as well. That's quite nice. Fantastic, Trev. Thanks very much for that. And um, hopefully it's the start of a badge collection. Hint, hint. Bungo. Hint, hint, Christopher. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. Now this one. I like the penmanship on that one, it's very nice. It has a little slight opening here, so I, I, I do worry when it arrives like that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's been rattling about. I think I know what this is. Uh, a few videos ago, Robert Roberts sent me a, a blue carded Kew Gardens and a blue carded Britannia. Now, this pack here, I got an, an eBay lot. I might have myself an extra now, but I went and got the rest of the set. There we go. I got the girl guiding. As you can see, it's 2019. I went and got the Roger Bannister. 2019. And I got the boy scouting. Also, 2019. And I have a spare Britannia. So, don't know, I might have a, a spare Britannia going. Who knows, I might find some use for that. But these are to go with the culture set. That are the two coins that Robert Roberts kindly sent in. So, that's a nice wee addition to that. have to get myself another one of them things for the Westminster folder with the nine pockets. Yeah, I'll have to buy maybe a pack of them, I think. So anyway, on to the next one. And there we go eBay and the power of credit cards <laughs> did I just say that <laughs> well at least I found the intro for my video there we go now another banknote it looks like it is this evidence I better better check it is it's an invoice I'll have to send that to the tax man there we go, but there we go. That is an uncirculated note. Look at that. Look at that. Robert Bruce, prefix one. I know I shouldn't, I know I shouldn't. I'm gonna do a bungle and touch the uncirculated note. Uh, it's probably a really, really bad idea. But, there we go. I just wanted to do that. There we are there. On this side, it just looks normal, but on this side, you th be mistaken for thinking it's just a regular note. But this thing here is ma what makes it special. 700th anniversary of the Battle of Bannockburn. Now, those of you in their history will know Bannockburn is an important battle. Let's not let's not let's not talk about the war. <laughs> but yes. This is a special banknote. There's not very many of them, and um, that little glyph there means a heck of a lot. Because I've got quite a few of these style notes already, but not uh, one with this glyph on it. No, no, very special. So, um, hopefully, um, I'll, I'll get something nice to house it in. Because I'm going to get myself a. I know I've got the little wallets for the banknotes. I'm going to keep them for world notes. I'm going to get myself, I've, I've seen this really lovely binder thing I'm going to have for uh, UK notes, for Scottish notes. 
have them all in the denominations in each page. So, that's a project to work on in the future. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. And here we go. Christmas stamp. There we go. Any names on the back? No, it seems we're okay. But I will need to employ the scissors again because my getting a bit sore with the thumb there. Here we go, I've got a wee letter here. I had to check for evidence. And here we are. It says, Dear Caledonian Coins, thought you might like these Scottish heraldry stamps from the Royal Mail. I'm sure you can put them in your collection somewhere. <laughs> Regards, Howard Pulford. Incredible. Wow. I was not expecting this. This is so nice. Here we are. Most ancient and most noble order of the thistle. Tercentenary of the revival. Oh, wow. <laughs> Too like that. Let's see inside. Arms of the Lord Legion, King of Arms. It's got all this gloss. It's hard to read into gloss. Isn't it? You can see me in the background. Hello. There we go. It's pretty much the same. This one says Arm. Arm of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Rothsay. This one. Let's have a look at the design of that one. Dignity and Force. Oh, these are lovely designs. That one says Arm of the Royal Scottish Academy of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture. Wow. This one, Societas Regales Edinburgh. And this is Arms of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Ah. Wow, these are definitely lovely. Thank you so much, Howard. That is so unexpected for a start. Very unexpected. I was not exposed. Oh, we can go out further. There we go. That's much better. That's much clearer, isn't it? You can see me clearer. You can see my bad hair as well. I need a haircut. That's the primary reason why I've not done a hair live stream is my hair is just looking like some wonky anime character. So, <laughs> yeah, once I get a haircut, maybe I'll get a live stream back on the go. When, when am I allowed a haircut? Does anyone know? <laughs> when did the hairdressers open up again? Anyway, thank you so, so much, Howard. That's so appreciated. That's so kind of you. And uh, yes, I'll definitely have a have place for these. These will go nicely beside my Declaration of Arboral stamps that I got last year. Thank you so much. And on to the next one. It's a box. Yes, this might take some effort. I want to do a re-radio wipe. I'll see you on the flip side. So, got into the box, took out a bit of stuffing, got to this level, then I realised items just below here. So let's have a wee peek at what I bought. I bought, I saw this on some group somewhere and I thought I must have this. Just remove this just now. It's the Millennium set from the Isle of Man. It covers the 11th and 12th centuries, the Millennium of Tinwald. It also covers 13th and 14th centuries. 15th and 16th centuries, 17th and 18th centuries, 19th and 20th centuries. Very lovely set. Am I able to open it? That's the next question. I am not sure. My thumb's a bit sore as well, so I don't want to be forcing anything open. There we go. I need to try and zoom into that where I could read it. Oh too much a reflective thing going on that nah. I need to figure out a way how to do this without breaking my thumb oh there we go <laughs> just like that now here we go what to do pause it there if you like I'll move my thumbs out of the way and you can read that at your own leisure now here we go. Much clearer view of the coins. Quite like that Viking longboat. I like that one. Oh, we love ships on coins, don't we? 
Look at those. Look at those. They're beautiful. The matching portrait. I almost called it mansion. It's just something we were joking about when the D Day coin came out. But yeah. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. I saw them on a group. I kind of like fell for them and I said I must have those. Here we go. So fantastic. Let me clear up a little bit and we'll move on to the next one. Got ourselves a pub uh, pub joy jobby. I think I know which one this is. Make sure there's no evidence. Oddly, there's no evidence. Maybe it's inside. Oh, it is. There we go. Have a look at those. Free advertising. There you go. Right. More advertising. Right, bye. So, here we go. This is what I've got. The Sea Creatures Six Coin Set. Now, I've only got the one just now in here. And that is the Clownfish. Let's have a wee peek at this one. I found Nemo. Here we go, look at that. That is lovely, I do like that. Get that back into there. And there's five more to come. I'll let you have a wee peek at these. I'll zoom in slightly so you can have a wee look. Have a wee read. Look at those two. And feel free to have a read of these two. And feel free to have a read of these two. Nice. So I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the set. Uh, it's just like the penguins, just like the, the turtles and flamingos and all the other animals. That's another one for me to collect. There <laughs> we go. So uh, I'll keep up to date with this one. Moving on to the next one. Now, this one has uh, details on the front, so I'm going to hide them. Here we are. Two pound coin from Gibraltar to match with the 50p and the 20p that I bought. This one here, this two pound is called the Sandy Bay, two pound. Oh, and there's me just touching it. I'm bad, I know, I know, I know. There we go. Quite a lot of mixed reviews on this one. Some folk don't like it, some folk do. I'm just trying to keep an open mind. Some folk, somebody even said that looks like a car mirror. <laughs> I can see what this. I can see what they're going for, but yeah, there we go. That's east of the the rock, Sandy Bay. It'll be a nice pairing with my fifty p and twenty p. There we go. Nice. So I'll pop that back into the bag, and we'll see what's in the last envelope, shall we? And on to the last one. I've got details on the front of this one and I ran out of stickers, so I am just holding it this way. Here we go, let's have a look inside. Now this went, this one I thought had gone missing. So I have to email uh, the nice lady back at the Gibraltar shop and say it's finally turned up. This one took three and a half weeks to get here. Um, you have to add a wee bit of time for COVID, of course. But, um, blimey, all I can say is it took its time. So there we go. One of the items is missing. There's a little note here. It says credit note. Um, the item must not have been in stock. So I've got, I'm going to have to contact them somehow and say, well, you owe me money. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work, but I got this. The Gibraltar Island Games cover, 973 of a thousand. So there we go, let's have a wee look at the stamps. Gibraltar Island Games. All the different sports and events. All the different prices and values and denominations. I'll just zoom out a little bit. There we go. Quite a lot going on on there, isn't there? 
that's why I liked it. So many different stamps and the coin as well. It's number 973 out of a thousand. So I'm going to have to go investigate this credit note business. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works because I've paid via PayPal or WorldPay or something like that. So if they've got like X amount of credit towards my name, then I'll have to see if I can redeem it and find something to buy. Anyway, uh, let's have a recap of everything I've got, shall we? So, quick recap of everything. Um, first off, the coin I got in my change, the notes I got in a change, or at places around my adventures. Also, um, we've got the Gibraltar first day cover with the, the coin and stamp set. The missing item with the credit note, which I'll have to see about then. We've got the, the Bannock Burn £20 note. We've got the lovely stamp set from Howard. Thank you very, very much. We've also got the Livingston second issue. We've also got the four cards uh, from Culture Set from the 50Ps. That's uh, to go with the one Robert Roberts said. We've got an Isle of Man Millennium crown set. We've got coins to collect badges. The first of many badges, hopefully. And also, you will not see it on this side, but it's the Sandy Bay. Gibraltarian £2 coin. So, shame that item was missing. I'll have to go and speak to them, like I say, about that credit note. I don't know how that's going to work. Anyway, maybe I'll just find something on their site that's worth X amount and go, oh, I'll have that instead. So, um, right, anyway, if you're having a hunt, have a happy one. If you've got any of these, or if you like any of these, let me know below which one's your favourite pick from out of this. Um, have you bought yourself a Trev? badge set yet um have you got the culture set have you got any of the notes i've shown you have you got any of the stamp sets i've shown you have you got this this i fell in love with i just liked it chips on coins we all love that and when i saw that i had to get one so anyway i'm off there now i'm gonna see if i can see if my thumbs getting any better it's just sprained i think but anyway like i say if you're having a hunt have a ow happy one <laughs> Uh, don't forget, check your chains. Ciao now, and cheery bye.